What's up, everybody? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. I'm JJ. This is Sergio. This is Vince here. And it was championship day on Sunday at George Allen Field, a blustery Sunday as Long Beach State took on UCSB. A beautiful day, beautiful crowd, and the beautiful game was on display. Oh, it was a big crowd. Um, they are rabid, and they knew what was at stake. Yeah, it was a big moment. Uh, Sergio, the first half started pretty defensively, much like the g game between these two teams on Friday, uh, very defensive in the first half. And um, I think that's what Long Beach State wanted. They wanted to fill each other out a little bit before they made their, their momentum shift uh, toward the end of the first half. Uh, Long Beach was in a 4-5-1 uh, with five midfielders, uh, Gordon, Bullock, Bolt, Silos, and Shevlin. Uh, and it was those five midfielders that kind of paced the pace of the game. If they were up, the beach was attacking. If they were back, uh, the beach was back. And they were back for most of the first half. Absolutely, and I, I want to point out Lindsay Bullock had an outstanding game. She was able to, to go up, up and, but she was also able to uh, you know, sort of dominate the flow of the game on the defensive side. So. I think you hit on the head that our midfielders are very versatile players who can take it up forward. They have a lot of skill that's feet, play the wings. And at the same time, they can get back and play defense. Mariko Strickland right here showing some ball movement. Um, the beach got some momentum going at the end of the first half, but it was nothing, nothing at the half, and that momentum for the beach carried over into the second. It set up, it set up the moment. I mean, you knew it was going to be a tough and a big battle the second half, and it, it came through. I had great touches by the beach, and they had that pretty much all day. They had but this changed the game right here. Uh, this ball glances off a of 49er, gives UCSB a corner, and the corner volley over with the header. Another volley gets into the back of the net, one nothing Gauchos. You know, interesting about that goal, against the grain, the grain of the game, uh, Long Beach State had been playing well, but you see the Gaucho fans going crazy. So. Uh, interestingly enough, again, the change of momentum seemed to swing right back with where those midfielders were. The midfielders came back Midfielders came back up again, and the beach got a couple set pieces. Uh, this one, a good chance right here. Mariko Strickland gets a nice little touch on the ball. Oh. Um, but this set piece right here changes the game. Real sends it over, a uh, deflecting shot. Mariko gets a head on it, and then Farquhar with the volley into the back of the Golazo. net. Goal, Goal, the equalizer as they call it, 1-1. Uh, one, one. Uh, and the momentum, beach side. Right back, and what a finish too. You got one, you got one shot on the ball. You made, she made it happen. Great goal by Dana. Long Beach fans getting back at the Gaucho fans right here, giving them a taste of their own medicine a little bit. Yeah, the goal came one minute after their goal. We didn't forget uh, what they were doing. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, back on the field, it was Dana Farquhar on the outside who uh, paced the Long Beach attack. Uh, she controlled it down the line and uh, got some good crosses in there. This one to Haley Bolt. Great save here by the Gaucho keeper. I mean, that, that another great save right here. Yeah, Allie Cutler had a really nice day, and uh, she kept the Gauchos in that game because the field was definitely tilted after Long Beach equalized it. Yeah, it seemed like it seemed like the coach and Grass was talking about them being able to keep the ball on the ground. Almost a chance here, but you know, keeping the ball on the ground, controlling the game, and they did that really well in the second half. And, and you can see through the video, pretty much, we didn't edit this in this way. It was pretty much a lot of Long Beach opportunities that they just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, which is what we've heard all year. Yep, late in the second half, it was definitely Long Beach not being able to put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, two overtime periods, UCSB had their chances in the first, not a lot of chances in the second, but both of them end scoreless. We're 1-1. One, one. We're headed to the shootout. Uh, Long Beach State lining up across the way from the Gauchos, doing it old school style, uh, the overtime to, to end all overtimes. Brianna Trulove, Trulove actually took over in goal, um, but Ingrassia knew what he was doing because she gets a huge save to start the shootout. Made him look like a genius, in yeah, my opinion. Yeah, that, that's practice coaching there, man. He knew, he knew what he, he, she was capable of. Long Beach and UCSB able to put a couple back into the net, um, but Brianna kept getting her hand on the ball. That was the story of this shootout. It was frustrating Nat to see. She has a natural ability, but she just wasn't able to sort of knock him out of the goal. Um, this one by Bullock gets stopped by Ali Cutler, a UCSB's goalie. Great stop right there. Farquhar hits it into the back of the net, keeping it even, um, but this was the change right here. Uh, it gets past True Love right here. Just, oh, or, or she makes the big block. That's right. She makes the big block. Uh, I thought it was over. We all thought it was over. A lot of people thought it was over. Uh, Cutler taking her time, getting back to goal, kind of letting everything settle down. Um, and here comes Kiefer with goal a chance would to win, win it. it. Oh, Woodwork. Oh, woodwork. so frustrating. They came That's back. the one that got past uh, True Love. And then uh, Hurtado uh, puts this one off the iron as well. And, uh, and UCSB wins the shootout 6-5. to five. Game of inches, JJ. Game of inches, that's right. Um, great day for Long Beach soccer. A disappointing day, but hopefully they'll be able to get into the NC2A tournament on Monday afternoon at 5.